What do you mean you bought premium boxes to get all your gear? You can just get gear for free with the War Master coins for hat. So yeah guys, what's going on? As promised, the video for the currencies and the premium store in the game. Uh, that's what the intro was about, small little joke there. Um, currently I'm on the way to the capital city to show you some NPCs that are of importance. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you there. So we have four currencies in this game. Uh, one of them being gold. The other one is the premium currency, then we have the War Master coins, and then we have the champion coins. Now the War Master coins, they are very important and they are rewarded through participating in the war zone. These three NPCs here, they can give you quests to gather more War Master coins. Uh, I'll show you right now. Uh, if you accept this quest, it says defeat 10 unique players from this realm. You also have the same quest for the other realm. And then you have quests like this. Defeat 20 unique players from this realm or the other realm at Warzone Fortification. So these kills, they only count when you kill them at a fortification. Now these quests, they can overlap. If you're doing both of them and you kill players at a fortification, you will get rewards for both quests. Uh, killing players rewards War Master coins like this, just like that and uh, completing your quest gives you even more uh, so with these war master coins you can buy things like uh, war master weapons the war master badge war master uh, horse um, some restoration elixirs uh, you can buy the armor which is needed to get the war master spells if you buy the whole set you can get spells and you can buy uh, the jewelry from it so the jewelry is uh, arguably the best reward in the game that you can get because it's like very strong jewelry it's like 40 damage uh, cost speed extra mana um, some defensive rings HP rings uh, amulets as well so it's very important uh, but the war master coins are only uh, rewarded through war so that's uh, how you get them the next ones are the champion coins the champion coins they are only rewarded through the battle zones uh, as you can see, battle zones they have uh, active times. That is to, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really know <laughs> for sure why they did that, but I, I guess it's like to prevent people from really spamming it. So there's more focus on the main attraction of the game, which is the war zone. Um, so each day has its own hours. So you just join the battle zone, you wait for the queue, it pops you in, you get into an instance, and you kill people. That's uh, basically what you do. Uh, after the match is done, you get rewarded uh, coins uh, for playing. If you win, you get more coins, of course. Uh, after that, you can just buy some champion gear. Uh, I don't really have champion gear on this character, I don't think. No, I don't. Uh, but champion gear, uh, it's um, it's the developer's way of um, giving you gear that is usable, uh, but that you don't really have to, to pay for or have to grind for to drop from mobs. So that's good. Uh, equipping the whole set gives you an extra bonus of uh, class attributes. So for Archer's Dexterity, for Mage's Intelligence, for Warrior Strength. So it's a really nice bonus. And it has a lot of enchantment slots as well. So it's a really good armor uh, to get. Next up we have the gold. Gold is just uh, basic stuff. Uh, you use gold to like buy things from vendors in the beginning of the game. Uh, to upgrade your weapons with a magic gem uh, to enchant your gear with the blacksmith uh, to repair your items or to buy uh, items from the auction house or one more thing to buy the elixir to make uh, magnemite weapons uh, from this guy uh, which is the most expensive uh, gold item in the game it's 20 million gold uh, that's basically what you use gold for you can get gold from a lot of things uh, the war master quests themselves gave gold as well uh, you can get gold from killing monsters and selling their loot. So like random loot, I'll show you right now. As you can see, 68k uh, stuff being the most expensive item of course. Uh, that's basically how you get gold. 
you can also get gold by trading of course but uh, the currency we use to trade is something different uh, magnanites is what we use here to trade um, these things they are worth up to like 150k gold per piece so if you really need gold and you have like 20 magnanites sitting around you have a bunch of gold right there um, but that's another topic of course and then lastly we have the premium currency which brings us to the premium store here uh, of course premium currency you obtain by spending real money uh, luckily the developers they gave us daily rewards uh, every seventh day of your login rewards you get uh, like 400 of the premium currency which is not too bad to just play the game of course uh, the premium store is pretty straightforward uh, it's separated into different categories i'm gonna fly over this because it's pretty straightforward of course you have the new page what is new in the game right now uh, or new in the premium store rather uh, right now i'm recording this around easter so we have some rabbit hats and this is from the event that just came before easter uh, you have the mounts of course um, there used to be a time where mounts were only obtainable by real money uh, which is kind of stupid in my opinion uh, because before that, I'm, I'm talking like uh, 2008 now, um, we had this option, which actually came back in like 2018. Smart move from the developer. Go to the farrier and he can sell you a horse that lasts for a day or a horse that lasts for a whole week. So it's not only spending money anymore to get a horse. I'm so glad they brought that back because that was like uh, one of the biggest reasons new players were quitting the game kind of but now they brought it back uh, and now uh, the premium mounts they are of course skin only they don't run faster or give you an advantage of uh, some sort so that's good uh, but they are skin only so there's a bunch of them you have a collection of uh, elemental horses here you have some war steeds a unicorn uh, you have the realm steeds you have some other steeds like wolves and dagger fangs and saber tooths. Uh, you have unique realm steeds. So we have a, a Banku in other realms. They have like a, a red raptor thingy and a chicken like thingy. I don't know. Um, you have a lion, turkey, some bears, the hellion. So that's uh, straightforward. Then you have the booster step. Uh, the boosters, uh, in some people's opinions, of course, they are pay to win. Uh, in other people's opinions, they aren't. They aren't. Excuse me. Um, so you have experience boosters up to five hundred percent. With this, I can tell you if you like get into the game, you really like it, but you think the leveling takes a little too long to get into the war zone. If you buy one of these boosters, and I guarantee you, in the same day. <laughs> In the same day you will be playing Warzone because you will get the level high enough to play the Warzone. Uh, you have Warmaster boosters. Um, kind of pay to win I'd say but not really because you get Warzone coins anyway but they just triple or double your Warmaster gain. Um, so yeah we have extra loot chance. Um, again kind of pay to win. Um, even with the loot chance your chance of getting like super duper ultra rare loot is kind of low uh, the, these work very well on bosses though you have uh, gold boosters um, I'm not sure if anyone ever bought one of these because as I said uh, earlier gold is not really the best um, currency in this game and then you have a magnanite booster which I told you it's the currency that the players trade with so this booster is kind of very good but considering rocks uh, that give the magnanites are very rare and um, it's not really the most useful booster this booster is very helpful in events like the easter events they spawned eggs and they had like huge magnanite rewards so then these boosters are very good uh, you have the upgrades uh, you can buy extra characters for your account from 3 to 6. Um, I suggest just making a new account. I've never bought this item. Some people do, of course. But uh, I suggest just making a new account. You have uh, Mastery Scrolls. So you can buy an instant level 60 scroll. 
Uh, you could say that's kind of pay to win, but then again, it doesn't give you an advantage at the game. It just makes you um, the highest level in the game. Uh, it's a very expensive booster. I think this booster costs 100 uh, USD. So there is an option for lazy people, but it's a very expensive one. Uh, the next booster makes you level 45. Uh, excuse me, uh, this one makes you level 45. And this one makes you level 30. I'm gonna say uh, if you buy this booster you, you are absolutely wasting money because level 30 is nothing in this game. Uh, arguably level f uh, 45 is still nothing depending on the class you picked. If you picked like a, a conjurer, a warlock, a knight it's gonna be okayish but like barbarians, hunters and marksmen they're not gonna do much on level 45 sadly. You can upgrade your stashes. Uh, you can buy an auction pack, so a stash carrier and a portable auction house is in here. Uh, you can reduce the weight load of your inventory. You can have a portable mailbox. You can save different setups with this one. You can buy an extra auction slot. Again, this is not really that useful of an item. And you can buy extra power sets for in the power tone, so you can save more setups. So that's the upgrade step. Then you have the consumable step. Basic stuff again. You have some mana potions, some health potions. Nobody really uses these. You have the elixir of restoration again. Uh, if you remember correctly, you can buy this from the Warmaster vendor. So not really. Uh, well, I, I mean, this comes in large quantities, of course. But these potions, nobody really uses them. Uh, we only use them if events uh, reward them to us, to be honest. Uh, they are useful when you're uh, grinding uh, your levels though, so you don't have to rest as long for your stats to recover. Uh, but again, I don't really suggest spending money if you're just leveling up. You have the war banner. Uh, the war banner basically what it does, you can write a message and then you can place it and everybody on the map will be able to read that message. So uh, we use this for the war as it suggests, a war banner. So if we have a large group regrouping somewhere and other players are trying to find this group, then you can just place this banner and everybody knows where it is. Uh, the enemy cannot see this banner. Every realm has its own unique banner, so don't worry about that if you place one. You have a repair hammer. Uh, the repair hammer, um, basically it repairs all your items in your inventory, uh, which is going to save you gold and you don't have to find a NPC to repair your items, so that's that. Uh, the dual banners, if you want to uh, fight with your own realm mates, uh, you can buy a dual banner. Um, don't worry guys, I know a lot of MMORPGs, they have like uh, the option to duel your friends for free. I know uh, this game added dual banners and daily logins, so there's people who have hundreds of banners and never bought one, so don't worry about it. Um, this item is the next uh, item, it's the most controversial item on this uh, store by the way. Um, I can guarantee you 5000% nobody has ever bought this item. The tickets. What do you need tickets for? Uh, you need them to join the battle zones, the PvP Colosseum, which is another free uh, way of PvPing your friends, by the way. But you just have to go there all the time then. The dual banner makes it so you can duel anywhere. And you have to you, uh, have tickets to join the Dragon Raids. And 10, ticket, ticket, my, 10 tickets, they cost 3000 uh, premium, which is almost 5 USD for just 10 tickets uh, and the battle zone is like 3 tickets and the dragon raid is also like 3 tickets to join so this is hella expensive for what it is and I highly encourage the developer to remove it from the uh, premium store uh, as soon as possible because it's ridiculous um, because war literally if you go to one fort that is currently in active war so for example here, and you kill one freaking player, and you log out, and the next day when you log in and you go to your mailbox, you have five tickets just for that one player you just killed. So this is the most retarded item I've ever seen on the premium store. Uh, then you have the next item, which is the second most controversial, because uh, it removes your necrostasy. Uh, basically, every time you die, you gain Necrostasy. Um, if you die by a mob, you get 2%, and if you suicide, you get like 5%. Uh, and you remove Necrostasy 
by just killing mobs so in like two minutes work you have zero necrostasy uh, what the, what does necrostasy it um, lowers your attributes so if i have one percent everything is one percent lower so that's what necrostasy does but you just remove it by just killing some mobs and it's gone so this is another stupid item it's for very lazy people i guess but it's a very stupid item at least it doesn't cost 3k like the other one um, teleports again for lazy people you can teleport to the cities of your realm um, straightforward uh, they are hella expensive but they come in quantities of five though but literally running uh, from the war zone to this city it's like two minutes so it doesn't really matter it's for lazy people uh, customization so you have name change you can uh, redistribute your initial attributes rename your mount uh, have some plastic surgery uh, i have a friend called uh, johnny who needs this very hard uh, you can get a haircut some hair dye exotic hair dye Change your beard, dye your beard, change your tattoos, uh, buy some skins to fuse with uh, other gear. You can change your gender and you can change your race. Uh, and now there's one race you cannot ch change to, it's the Lamai. Uh, because the Lamai was added um, like a few years ago after the release of the game. So I don't know why, but they haven't put them in here. You can only change, uh, as it says right here, but my race is not allowed. I don't know why it's not allowed. It's kind of stupid in my opinion. Um, this brings us to like a kind of annoying part of the game. Um, most MMORPGs, as you know, they have some sort of um, transformation system where you can get a skin with the stats of your good armor. Uh, in this game it's possible as well, but as you can see they are selling skins and as we're gonna see in one of the upcoming tabs, they are also selling the transfusion to do it. So that's kind of an annoying part, fashion in this game costs money, sadly. Uh, a good beard and a good hairstyle costs money as well. Um, the haircut has more hairstyles than uh, the character creation. Uh, the exotic there, uh, dye, hair dye, has uh, more colors than the character creation. So fashion in this game costs money, sadly. Um, but of course, like endgame armor, it looks pretty good. Most people even use those skins uh, as a skin, so that's good. Uh, you can buy some extra emotes. You can buy some clothing. Uh, clothing works like this. You buy clothing, you put it on, it gets in your clothing skin. Uh, slots and then you can just untick your armor and you can see the clothing instead so that's how the clothing works you can buy paint as i said fashion in this game costs money so to paint your armor uh, the nice paint of course costs the most i don't know why they make the better colors more expensive just business i guess huh uh, these are also pretty controversial the lucky boxes uh, these give you gear so along uh, the champion gear and the war master gear you have like um, epic magical legendary gear uh, you get this by dropping it from a mob which is pretty rare or you get them from you guessed it opening these lucky boxes now to get a perfect stat line uh, you gotta be very lucky so most of these cost a lot of money these are the two best ones they are they have the highest chance of giving you good gear but then the stat line and the resistances they are completely rng so the chances of you getting something uh, like this with some constitution some good resists is very rare so that's kind of the joke of the intro and uh, you bought platinum, platinum boxes while War Master gear is free forehead and um, so if you want to do this go ahead uh, but this is what makes the game kind of pay to win I'll explain it later because uh, pay to win it's it's a big statement of course um, uh, my enemy player is not gonna drop that because I bought hundreds of these boxes of course but it's gonna give you somewhat of an advantage, but I'll explain that uh, maybe in later videos, uh, who knows. Uh, but for new players, don't be scared by this um, business model. 
uh, the gear uh, uh, in this game. Uh, we have so much of it. Uh, the auction house uh, offers you a lot of decent gear uh, for gold, by the way. So you can get geared up um, to play some war, to play some battle zones, and then eventually get your champion's gear, which is uh, basically um, the highest defense bonus in the game. Uh, if you don't really mind resist that much, the, the champion's armor has 250 armor and the other armors they have 226 and 230 so champion's gear is definitely higher in armor uh, but it lacks the resistance because it has uh, normal resist against everything uh, and on epic gear as you can see you can get like resistances that are good or bad or very bad so the champion's gear is neutral armor and it has a very high armor stat so for the new players don't be scared off by this business model because the champion's gear is completely free and you can obtain it by uh, buying some auction house gear, so don't worry about it uh, that much. Next up, we have item en enhancements, um, which is kind of a pay to win aspect again. So, an enhancement, what it does is it adds another resistance. So, if you can see um, all the way on the bottom of this item, it says epic. And above that it says resist piercing damage uh, 2% and then on the right of it it has a little icon. Uh, that's one of these premium uh, items, the extra enhancement. Um, so you can buy one of these and add them into your armor which gives you like a small percentage of extra resistances. So again if you pay you have a little advantage in defense uh, against your opponents who don't have this of course. Uh, but then again, resistances in this game are very tricky because you have six different damage types and as I said in, 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 uh, a little bit earlier, it's very hard to get perfect set lines in this game and all these things. Um, so yeah, uh, some players will hit less with those enchantments on you and others will hit the same or more because you are not resisted against the damage type they are using. Uh, but that's what that is. Then you have the lucky boxes for magic gems. Again, RNG based. Um, I've opened a couple of these. I never really got a great gem, which are the strongest. You have minors, majors, and great gems. Uh, the gems is what you put in the weapons. So again, the bottom stat line, fire damage plus 14, is a gem. Uh, you can obtain gems by dropping them from mobs, by the way. Uh, you can also buy them on the auction house. And you can trade them with other players so it's not the only way to get a gem luckily so it's not the same as the enhancement then uh, engraving a socket i'm gonna see if i have a um, example here so this weapon uh, the 200 ignean x it doesn't have a socket so i cannot add a magic gem to it so in order to give it socket i have to buy an engrave socket uh, which is again kind of pay to win i know uh, but don't worry about it because a lot of items in the auction house a lot of items you're gonna trade uh the war master weapons uh, magnonite weapons if you somehow end up making one uh, they all come with uh, sockets so don't worry about it a socket is easy to get but as you can see a fresh weapon dropped from a mop or a lucky box won't have a socket uh, you can remove your gem from your weapon uh, of course, gems are very, very good items to trade. So if you uh, have a new weapon and your old weapon has a gem in it and you want to get some value out of it, you can remove the gem and sell it, of course. Uh, fashion in this game, as I said, it costs money. So this is how you fuse your items. So basically, uh, my skin is level 50, but my armor is level 60. That's how it is. You just uh, put a skin over your stats. Uh, melt weapon this only works for magnonite weapons of course to get your uh, magnonites back uh, well you don't get magnonites back you get ingots back and if you want your magnonites back you will get uh, you will have to get melt ingots and then the ingots will turn into magnonites do keep in mind um, you don't get all of them back uh, so a weapon costs 15 ingots if you melt your weapon I think you get 14 ing ingots back if you melt your ingots, it costs 500 to make an ingot, you get 450 magnonites back after that. Uh, you can fuse gems to make them better, so you can uh, make great gems by fusing two major gems. 
Uh, you can f make a major gem by fusing two minor gems. Uh, kind of, uh, kind of pay to win again, I guess. But uh, a great gem isn't too hard to get anyway. So, and then you have the transmutation artifacts, which basically lets you change stats on your armor. So let's say I drop this breastplate, and it has. Uh, amazing resistances as you can see I'm good versus slashing good versus piercing and good versus uh, blunt so the physical attacks of this game uh, but let's say the four constitution it's uh, four dexterity or something but I want constitution because it gives more HP I can buy this artifact and change the stat on it uh, again kind of paid win of course so uh, keep that in mind but uh, I mean it's not really that hard to get um, the the most frequently used uh, uh, use for this actually is um, to change a stat on an item that cannot get the stat naturally. So, for example, Constitution. Uh, you cannot get Constitution on a Gauntlet uh, naturally, for example. But as you can see, my Gauntlet does have Constitution. It's because I transmitted uh, the stat on it. Uh, but normally, a Gauntlet will have something like Concentration and Stats. Um, but with this artifact you can change it into constitution so that's the most frequent use because I can just drop a breastplate with these exact exact stats without having to change the, the stats for it so yeah uh, you have event items some fireworks um, some Pope items some Cupid items and then you have companions uh, now you're the companions I'm gonna say it straight up the companions is pay to win uh, but it's not extremely pay to win, but like literally you pay to get extra stats, you know So for example, one of the strongest is the snake here uh, It exchanges 30% critical chance, which isn't really That important and it gives you 300 extra HP. So Kind of pay to win um, the orc for example uh, it, it exchanges uh, attack speed and it gives you 10% of protection in return. So for a mage this is very 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 strong. Uh, and other companions have other stats but the companions they are in fact very pay to win. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.